Let's take a look at whether Al plus O2 yields Al2O3 is a redox reaction or not. And here's how we do it. So we have these rules here. We assign oxidation numbers to each element. And using those, we can figure out whether we have a redox reaction. Let's give it a try. So free elements, elements only of one type of atom, like Na or H2 or O2, their oxidation numbers are zero. So aluminum is zero, and then O2 oxidation number, that's going to be zero. Over here, I don't see aluminum here, but I do see that oxygen is negative two. So each oxygen is negative two. Three times negative two is negative six. So to get a positive six, so this all adds up to zero, I'm going to need a positive three here as my oxidation number. So that works out. If you need help assigning oxidation numbers, jump over to my website and you can get guides, everything you need to do that, and lots more on redox. Okay, so we have our oxidation numbers here. Now we can see what happened. It looks like the aluminum went from zero to three, plus the oxygen went from zero to negative two. So the zero to negative two, that got smaller. So I know that that's been reduced. That means this has been oxidized, and that makes sense. It went from zero to plus three, it got larger. So we have oxidation, we have reduction. That's gonna give us a redox reaction. So in answer to our question, Al plus O2 yields Al2O3. It is a redox reaction. Electrons are transferred between the aluminum and the oxygen to produce this aluminum oxide. That's it. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.